Hi, I'm Jeff Stiefel, an instructor here at DIT, and I'm going to take you on a virtual tour. DIT has a beautiful campus located on Lake Union in the heart of Seattle. Let's go check out the classroom. So in the first month, you learned the necessary medical and safety practices to get you in the water. This is our physics and medicine classroom. This is month one. This is where you're going to learn how your body goes through changes in the water. The diversity of all the instructors and the backgrounds that everyone has here is helping me to decide on where I want to go in this industry. Now we're heading towards the barges where you're going to spend most of your time as a student here. Before we enter the barge, we like to have all the proper PPE on, make sure our hard hat's on, our PFD's on. So this is barge six, where you're going to do your introductory dives. You're going to do your underwater rigging dives, as well as your underwater burning dives. Underwater burning is one of my favorites in the fact that you get to play with a Broco rod that's 10,000 degrees at the tip, virtually cutting through anything in front of you. That's why safety here is a priority. First and foremost, before we do anything, we want to make sure that everything is done in steps, according to the standards, safe, safe, safe. We always have two-way communications to our divers, so basically the whole time in the water, our divers hear us, we hear them. Very good, thank you, sir. You can go back to work. Topside always has control of air to the divers. In case there's an emergency situation, we can fix it. This is one of our backup bottles right here. We uh, dive in real world conditions. This is Lake Union here in Seattle. You're going to experience cold, limited to zero visibility. Everything trained here is what you're going to expect out there. So now we're going to go ahead and visit Barge 7. This is where our hydraulics and our salvage are. So we're going to look at some of the uh, equipment they have over there. So follow me. So as you can see here, as we're walking up, you can see the uh, pontoons that we use to actually lift the salvage boats. Salvage is basically, we're going to bring stuff that's from the bottom up to surface. So here at DIT, you're going to experience putting lift bags to the actual boat, to pontoons, and we're going to bring them up to surface. So now we're on bar seven. This is uh, where you're going to learn about underwater hydraulics, such as uh, underwater chainsaws, underwater impact wrenches, and underwater jackhammers. They love this thing because it sounds like a machine gun underwater. So this is barge eight. This is where we teach hazmat and offshore. You're gonna work with zero viz, meaning it's pretty much like closing your eyes in a dark room, still being required to work. Blackout means you can't see anything. We start off with taking some funny little blinders. We black out their masks. That way they can't see what they're doing. I like that this school is on open water. You're not diving in a tank where you're going to be clear. You're actually doing real life work, which it's going to be black out a lot of times. So here we have our hat room where Mike is very excited to see you guys and show you the hats. Go ahead and take a look. Welcome to the hat room. My name is Mike, director of life support here at DIT. I'm going to show you some hats. We've got almost every make and model of hat out there in the industry, so our students get a good experience of trying all the different makes and models, seeing what works for them. Here at DIT, you get a Kirby Morgan User Operator Certification. It pretty much allows you to do the pre and post dive setup, so getting the hat ready online safely, and then getting it broke down, cleaned, and ready for stowage at the end of the day. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our deep dives boat, the response. It's been out on dive site for a couple days. So our students dive to 165 feet, which requires surface decompression in the hyperbaric chamber. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it. They are required to actually have surface decompression in the chamber. Move the chamber, my head in. So now we're gonna head over to our welding shop where you can learn about underwater welding as well as topside welding. So let's go check it out. So I'm Josh Oxley, I'm the underwater welding instructor, an underwater burning instructor. We're in our uh, topside welding station. We're practicing topside to get them ready for the industry. So outside the main shop, we have our uh, underwater welding tanks. We have two tanks, they're 5,500 gallons each. And that communication box allows me to come over here and talk to the divers about their welding. Most people come here trying to underwater weld. They soon learn that that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm looking to get into something a little more my style, a little more hands-on, uh, working with a good bunch of guys and doing something a little different. 
Well, that's what I chose to do and that's what they offer here. I've never left here with a question unanswered. I went from doing airborne in the military to the opposite, diving in the water. I'm loving every second of it.